In this video, we'll look at the equation for NaBr plus H2O, that's sodium bromide plus water. So in sodium bromide, we have sodium, which is a metal, and then bromine, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. So we're going to have some ions here. When we go to the periodic table and we look up sodium, it's in group one, so it has a one plus charge, so we we'll write a plus up there. And then bromine, group 17, or sometimes called 7A, that has a 1 minus charge. Let's just put that minus there. We take this solid sodium bromide crystal, let's put an S here, and we drop it in liquid water, and it dissolves, and it dissociates into its ions. So we'll end up with Na plus plus Br minus. That's the sodium cation and the bromide anion. To show that these are dissolved in water, we're going to write AQ after it. And AQ stands for aqueous, or dissolved in water. Since we wrote aqueous here, we don't need to write H2O on the other side of the equation. The aqueous shows that these ions, when they dissociated, they're now dissolved in water. And that makes this the equation for sodium bromide plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.